the, the West Bank had uh, had changed completely in this uh, two, 20 years uh, in terms of numbers of settlers, in terms of areas uh, which settlers are de facto controlling. This is the settlement of Modi'in elite, which was established 20, less than 25 years ago. Right. Yeah, and uh, since then it's growing, and see. today uh, its uh, population is around 70,000 people. Right. And for people to understand, Settlement and outpost. Right. What's the difference? Well, the usually settlement refers to uh, Israeli uh, Israeli settlements, which are officially approved by the Israeli government. And the Israeli outpost are Israeli settlements, which had been built also by the Israeli government, but without official approval. Both uh, settlements, both type of settlements, are actually. Uh, out there in order to achieve the same goal, which is to Judaize growing part of the West Bank. So how would you describe that policy? Apartheid. <laughs> so what do we see on that hill over there? This is one out of uh, around 40 uh, new herding outposts which were established in the last uh, decade in the West Bank. What's a herding outpost? Herding outpost means that uh, one family, perhaps with few youngsters, are, is coming and is basically taking over a huge area. Palestinians who cross certain in certain, certain point, you can see the valley down mm -hmm. there. If you start going up, you are exposed immediately to massive violence, etc. Everything is backed by the military, of course. The military is protects them. The military protects them all the time. And, and you've been doing this for you said almost two decades. Is this has this increased? Uh, actually, during uh, the Trump administration years, okay, these are the years where the crucial years in terms of geographical expansion. See this road. It's going to be a new access road. This is a new access road to a, to a new part of the salmon, mm. right? Now, this salmon of Farim and Bet Aryeh, they are they have been united. Palestinian work. Of course, of course. I mean, no one else does this work. These are very young people, and they don't get permit to work in Israel. So, the bigger picture in terms of what you've observed, what you've documented, settlement expansion over time, how would you describe it? Well, what we've seen in the last years is uh, one of the uh, one of the biggest booms in terms of construction in the West Bank. We haven't seen so much construction happening actually since I started monitoring. Uh, we're not talking only about construction in Selman. We're talking about very, very expensive and heavy infrastructure projects which are being built in the West Bank in the last years, which we haven't seen for, we haven't seen being built for, for decades since actually Oslo. The present uh, infrastructure had been exhausted in order to bring hundreds of thousands of new settlers into the Israeli southern West Bank, they need now to expand their infrastructure. They need more water, they need more roads, they need more, more telecommunication infrastructure. So a Palestinian state? <laughs> Which state? There is no Palestinian state. The land has been... The land is gone. Israel made sure there will be no Israeli, no Palestinian state in the West Bank. The story, is, the story is over. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, in the occupied West Bank.